All right, today we're gonna to be replacing a C60 injector in this 6V71. So, start with, you have two bolts on the valve cover. They are a 3 8 inch, 12 point. So, you get those off, get the valve cover off, go from there. All right, so we got the valve cover off. Next thing we're gonna to need to do is pull these fuel lines off. They're gonna be a half inch nut. Now, you can do it with the wrench, but it's a pain in the ass most of the time when you get down here by the rack. So, I know a snap, this one's a snap on. I'm assuming you can get them from other places, but it's just a half inch crow's foot that's a deeper offset. So, it'll fit over the fuel lines, crack them loose, and then you can just twist them off by hand. Now that we got the fuel lines off, next up, it's gonna be remove two bolts on the rockers. These are three quarters of an inch. They're not gonna be really tight, but they're gonna be pretty snug. So, you're gonna need a little bit longer ratchet to get those off there. All right, so we got the rockers off. They're held up. I just got them sitting against the valve springs here. 9 16 inch socket on a wobble extension. Go ahead and pop that injector hold down bolt out. All right, once the injector hold down is out, take an indexable pry bar or some type of pry bar, get under it and pop it up. I already got this one off. They're a little hard to do one-handed. Once you get that off, you can twist the injector to the side to get it off the rack, and then pull it right out. So that's it for removal. I'm gonna go get the new injector. We'll start putting them back together. New injector is in. We already torqued the injector hold down bolt. That's 20 to 25 foot pounds. Next up, we're gonna to torque the two rocker bolts. It's gonna be 90 to 100 foot pounds. Once we get those torqued, we're gonna to put the injector lines back on. Those are gonna be 20 foot pounds. And then from there, you're going to need to set your valves on this cylinder and run the rack again. Once we get that done, we can get this thing fired up and see how it runs. When you go to put your fuel lines back on, you don't really need to worry about uh, if you have the right one or not, because if you look, they are actually different lengths, so they only will go on one way. But I just go on like that, tighten down to about 20 to 25 foot pounds, and you should be good to go. If you're only doing one injector, you really won't have to worry too much about bleeding the fuel system back out. You didn't lose much in the process, but if you're doing multiples, it's gonna take a minute to get the fuel bled back out of the motor before it will start. 